Hello, you lovely people, and welcome back to my channel. And guys, it's a game room update video. Now, you may have realised I haven't been in my game room very much lately, and that is because it needed a revamp. And I've done it, and I'm kind of there slowly and get in there guys i mean it looks a hell of a lot different you can probably tell already from just looking behind me here but yeah would you like to join me as we take a look around the revamped nearly game room right let's do that right now right guys here we go we'll start at the beginning as we go into my very tight doorway here as you can see i have replaced a lot of my shelving with these really fantastically priced uh, black plastic ones because being in the cellar obviously means that you're at risk of damp and all that kind of thing and I used to have wood down here and they all kind of rotted away now let's go around here now you're gonna see how tight this <laughs> this doorway is here but come with me as we walk along here and there you go you can see already guys the game room as it is there very fully stocked up but we're going to take a better look in a sec you're with me all the way here guys as we spin round back to this one here and there we go that is that shelf there obviously pause if you'd like to see anything in particular very very dark I have to get some more lighting sorted out because it's not exactly brilliant here's my uh, yeah what I call my drawers of shame uh, full of leads and everything so we're in all right there we go well, there's another kid controller there VS controller and then we go down like this so you can see it's all a bit stacked up still I am gonna have to address all that in the end now this area here particularly He's going to have to have another little jiggle around and what have you. You can see all this stuff here in the bag still to be sorted out. But then we go around here and there's all stuff tucked down as well guys as you can probably see there. Look. But yeah, it's everywhere. But at least it's starting to come into some kind of shape. So here we go. There's one of the old wooden units there. There we go. And down to some Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle toys there. Then we go onto these shelves. You're probably not going to be able to see the bottoms properly. But you can see there is a ton of bloody stuff here. All sorts of stuff here. As we go up there. Obviously I'm going to do a better video when I am completely and utterly done properly. But at least it gives you a kind of judgment of what's going on down here. And then you can look down there, look. Even more down the bottom that you can't even see. And up we go again. It is crazy down here. Even with this revamp, I do love these black units though. They are wicked. And believe it or not, they're only £12.50 from B&Q at the moment. So that is absolutely wicked. Here is my lifesaver. Like I said, being down in a cellar is uh, quite a damp situation, shall we say. And this is my dehumidifier. And I'll tell you what, it does an absolutely fantastic job. This little unit, which costs £110, actually keeps this whole room bone dry. I just wish I had realised that that thing existed years ago. It is absolutely fantastic. I have to empty it about three times a day it has a two litre tank on it that collects the water and yeah three times a day and I've got a bone dry game room a little bit dirty carpet there from where we've been mucking about in here 
Let's go up there. There's some Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles there and Chewbacca hiding up. Obviously I collect more than just gaming stuff. I also collect old iPods and things like that. Walkman, although I've only got a few of them and I can't even find the others yet. They're there somewhere. There we go. Oh, you can see all the games on the shelves there. They're all mixed about. Nothing's in a proper order yet. That'll all come once everything goes into its place. And there's my dear friend. Oh. There we are. Some absolutely <laughs> weird and wonderful stuff here, guys. Weird and wonderful. There we go. Down again. And down to there. And up again. So you can see it is rammed down here. Still absolutely rammed down here. There you go, you can go down there. You can see Darth Vader tucked up there. So what Ninja Turtles. There is a lot of stuff behind here as well. There is the Beatles rock band set up. There's my Atari 2600 which still needs to find a home. And up we go here. Like I said guys, if you need to pause it to check some particular things out. There we go, I'm trying to get the shelves in guys, it is quite difficult. And right down to the bottom of there. Hopefully you can see something of that. Then behind my chair here, let's pull that out of the way a minute. That goes further down. There we go. You can see all the stuff here, guys. Just incredible. So much down here, guys. And still loads in those bags as well. There we go. Lots of toys as well, obviously. There we go down to there again. Right the way down. There we are. Just a shed load of stuff, guys. Shed load. There we are. Back onto these shelves. And again, you can't really see what's behind there very well. And up here. There we go. Wicked. There we are. And round and down to a load of Xbox 360s. And again, guys, very hard to see what's behind all of this stuff that's stacked up here still. There is a load of games down there and what have you. Uh, just can't get to them at the moment. Which is a bloody shame. Then up we go again. There we go. Fantastic. There we are. As you can see again guys, all this stuff stacked up here still. It is just absolutely incredible. All of this stuff that still needs to find a home. I am slowly getting there. And I tell you what, it's such an improvement on what it was like before. It's incredible. It really, really is. You can see all this stuff. Look, wow, still stacked up here. And again, you can't see behind there, which is annoying. But I am very, very pleased with how far I've got so far. Obviously it's not the end of the story, there is still a lot more to be done down here. But at least I'm back in here and filming. Down there we have an Amiga tucked away, look. <laughs> and there we go. With the last bit there. Yeah, I am really, really pleased with it all. The way it's all going, guys, is fantastic. So, yeah, let's pull it back again a bit. There we go. So, you can see around again. Obviously, this is a working cellar. We've got all the electrics and bloody things down here, which is annoying. So, yeah, that is wicked. That is a new TV there. Not that you can get to it at the moment. But, yeah, that was donated to me by my uh, brother-in-law. That's a new TV down here. Wicked. Yeah, all these bags still to go, guys. Oh, blimey, eh? Right, let's pull back again. 
Take another look round here from a distance. I love these black units, guys. I really, really do. I mean, they're cram-packed full, but they're so cheap. You know what I mean? They're so cheap, guys. They really, really are. Yep, absolutely wicked. So I hope you can see that it is improving down here, although, you know, it all looks like it's going to fall on me still. But, you know, we're not at the end of it yet. We've still got a long way to go, but I think it's looking really, really cool. And it looks a bit like a toy shop, doesn't it? Stroke video game shop, that is for flipping show. Right, there we go, guys. I hope you enjoyed looking at my game room once again. With a little bit of a revamp, but a hell of a lot more work to do. But it's getting there, guys. I'm loving it. I love the messiness of it. It is all part of the joy for me. Although I do like it looking, you know, nice, obviously. I have got the look of a thrift shop going on here, or as we call them in, uh, in Blighty, charity shop. <laughs> but yeah, I love it, love it, love it. And yes, thank you, wonderful machine, for keeping everything dry down here. Right, guys, I hope you enjoyed that. And with that, I'm going to see Ovidas in. Tschüss and goodbye. And I'll see you in the next one, guys. Bye-bye.